1346-1353, we have the spread of one of the most devastating pandemics in human history. The Black Death. Hello number ones, welcome back to my channel, this is the Metaton speaking. So, what is a pandemic? Well, it's an epidemic of infectious disease which has spread through the human population over a large area. But where did the Black Death originate? The plague probably originated in the arid plains of Central Asia and allegedly it spread to Europe through the Silk Road and via Genoese traders at the port city of Kaffa in 1347. You see, at that time the city was undergoing a protracted siege and the Mongol army, the attackers, were suffering from the disease and started catapulting infected corpses over the city walls. The Genoese fled, but it was too late. October 1347, 12 Genoese ships docked at the Sicilian port of Messina. The people started gathering at the docks to greet the ships, but they were met with horror, as they saw that most of the sailors were dead, and those who were still alive were gravely ill. The Sicilian authorities ordered the ships of death to leave the harbour at once, but the damage was already done. In the next section we will discuss what the disease is and how it spread. Analysis of DNA showed that the pathogen responsible was the Yersinia pestis bacterium, a gram-negative rod-shaped cocobacillus, in other words, a facultative anaerobic organism. The infection in humans takes mainly three forms, pneumonic, septicemic and bubonic plagues. A comprehensive proteomics analysis of Yersinia pestis strain has been performed in 2006. Now, to help you out a little bit with the terminology here, proteomics is a branch of biotechnology which is concerned with the application of molecular biology, biochemistry and genetics to analyzing the structure, function and interaction of proteins produced by the genes of a particular cell, tissue or organism. Without getting too technical, similar to other pathogenic strains, we find signs of loss of function, mutation. With a complete genomic sequence, Yersinia pestis is host to several plasmids. A plasmid is a segment of DNA independent of the chromosomes and capable of replication, occurring in bacteria and yeast and used to transfer genetic material from one cell to the other. These plasmids and a pathogenicity island called HPI encode several proteins which cause the pathogenesis that make Yersinia pestis famous. These virulence factors are required for bacterial adhesion and injection of proteins into the host cell, invasion of bacteria in the host cell via a type 3 secretion system and the binding of iron harvested from red blood cells. The spread of the disease which wiped out entire towns is a highly debated grey area. Originally it was thought it was carried by oriental rat fleas living on the black rats that were regular passengers on merchant ships. However, a new study from researchers at Oslo University analysed climate data going back to the 14th century and apparently the outbreaks of the Black Death seemed to correspond with the years when Central Asia had wet springs and warm summers. Such conditions would be terrible for black rats to thrive, but would have been ideal for another kind of rodent, the gerbil. On the other hand, analysis of skeletal remains of construction workers in central London led to new conclusions, stating that the plague was an airborne disease spread through coughs, sneezes and breath of infected humans. To be able to spread so quickly, according to these scientists, the plague had to be airborne. Whatever the case, 
although a precise death toll cannot be confirmed, as some of the data we have might have been inflated, the Black Death claimed approximately 30 to 60 percent of Europe population, and the world population did not recover to pre-plague levels until the 17th century. Now here is an interesting fun fact for you. Now you're all familiar, of course, with the famous Venetian carnival, or il Carnevale Veneziano. Now there is one of the masks that actually has to do with the Black Death, and it's called La Maschera del Dottore della Peste, the plague doctor's costume. It was the clothing worn by a plague doctor to protect him or her from airborne diseases. The costume originating in the 17th century consisted of an ankle-length overcoat and a bird-like beak mask often filled with sweet or strong smelling substances, commonly lavender, along with the gloves, boots, a wide brim hat and an outer overclothing garment. Medical historians have attributed the invention of the beak doctor costume to Charles de Lorme, who adopted in 1619 the idea of a full head-to-toe protective garment. Now, interestingly enough, the mask actually had glass openings for the eyes and a curved beak. Straps had the beak in front of the doctor's nose. It was a type of respirator, if you will, which contained aromatic items. The purpose of the mask was to keep away bad smells, which were thought to be the principal cause of the disease in the miasma theory of infection, before it was disproved by germ theory. Now, from a medical point of view, people in the Middle Ages had no idea what was going on with the Black Death. The, in fact, the most authoritative account at the time came, came from the medical faculty in Paris in a report to the King of France that blamed the heavens in the form of a conjunction of three planets in 1345 that caused a great pestilence in the air. And at the time, this report became the first and most widely circulated of, all, of a series of plague tracts that sought to give advice to sufferers. Now, unfortunately, not all deaths at the time should be blamed to the disease. In fact, at the time of tragedy and death, people always look for someone to blame. We had renewed religious fervor and fanatism which bloomed because of what was going on with the Black Death. And some Europeans targeted various groups, such as Jews, foreigners, beggars, pilgrims and lepers, and pretty much everybody who had any kind of skin disease was targeted and killed. Now, of course, this was also because of the fact that 14th century healers, as we said, were at a loss. They did, could not explain the cause for such pandemic. Even the idea of the Jews possibly poisoning the wells was brought up. In fact, many attacks against Jewish communities occurred. And from historical accounts, we know that in February 1349, the citizens of Strasbourg murdered as many as 2,000 Jews. And the Jewish communities in Mainz and Cologne were exterminated. But another thing that needs to be pointed out is the fact that the Black Death actually didn't finish, it didn't stop. We have episodes, many episodes of recurrence. The plague repeatedly came back to haunt Europe, Europeans and the Mediterraneans from the 14th to the 17th century. There were still people dying because of the Black Death. And out of all of these, the second pandemic was particularly widespread. We will have to wait until the 18th century to start seeing a retreat of the disease from most of Europe and the 19th century for Northern Africa. The third plague pandemic, 1855 to 1859, started in China, apparently killing around 10 million people in India alone. Even Australia had as many as 12 plague outbreaks between the 1900s and 1925, which again resulted in well above a thousand deaths, most of which occurred in Sydney. The Northern America plague pandemic occurred in San Francisco between the 1900 and 1904, and many others occurred, although most of which happened in the western part of the United States. All right, Nova ones, thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron. And as you could tell, this video today was a little bit more technical perhaps, but of course I will leave some links to similar videos and, you know, a little bit scientific and linguistic and academical videos in the dis link video description below. And also I will leave a little bit of description of what I have been talking about on this video. Now, of course, I will see you tomorrow for my next daily upload. And remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye.